This video is about ionic bonding. As you can see here, I've got an electron structure diagram on the board. What atom does this represent? Have a think now. Thoughts about it? Yeah, this atom is in fact lithium. We've got two electrons in the first shell. We've got one electron in the next shell. This tells us that it's in group one. This is a metal atom. We've got, however, this one electron in its outer shell. And what lithium wants to do with that one electron is to lose it. It wants to lose it to gain a full outer shell. So, when lithium does this, it becomes a ion. Lithium has now lost, in this case here, quickly represented, lithium has lost an electron, it has become an ion, a positive ion. If you lose negativity, in this case the electron, then you become more positive. But how does it lose it? Why does it lose it? Okay, you could say that it could react with water, and you've seen that before. You could say that it could react with another atom. Okay, now a group that lithium could react really well with is a group seven electron uh, electron structure, and this could be. Fluorine, chlorine, iodine. They have got seven electrons in their outer shell. Okay? As you can see there where I've just marked, there's one missing to gain that full outer shell. So by reacting with lithium, they could gain that one extra electron. If halogens gain that electron, they become negative because they've gained negativity. And I'll draw that in as a dot. If you get lithium reacting, if you get lithium reacting with a halogen, you form a halide. So you can form lithium fluoride, lithium chloride, lithium iodide. Okay? They combine very, very well with each other. Okay, halide, halide, electron if you've got to go away, don't think I can make it gain, won't you stay another day, oh don't leave me alone like this, don't you say it's the final fizz, won't you stay another day. Thanks for watching, uh, please like and subscribe to my videos. Peace.